Hello everybody and welcome to my review of the ModMic Uni, a standalone microphone that you can attach to any headset. Most gaming headsets come with terrible microphones, even the more expensive ones, and some come with no mic at all. The mod mic exists to help with that issue. Now does it do a good job with that? I think so. Before this mod mic uni, I had the mod mic 4, back when they used a different naming convention. That one lasted me about 3 years, so I have a decent amount of experience with these mics. Before we talk about the sound quality, I want to touch upon how nicely built these things are. To set them up, you simply stick them on with an included adhesive. Once it's on, the mic itself attaches and detaches with a magnet. It's got just the right amount of strength to not damage your headphones, but stay firmly in place. You can adjust its angle, bend it, change its length, and even flip it to the other side of your headphones if you prefer your mics to be on the right. It feels durable for the most part, although the wire feels a wee bit fragile. It's quite thin, but it shouldn't be seeing much action, I hope, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. The Uni does come with a hardware mute button, and some clips if you'd like to attach it to your headphone wire so things don't get too messy as well as a really nice case if you want to transport it anywhere. This mod mic can also be used on consoles, although depending on the console you'll most likely need a Y adapter, and it could even depend on the age of your controller. Antlion gives you an extra magnet and adhesives in case you want to transfer the mic to another headphone, which I've done three times, and it's a very easy process and leaves no marks. I've had the mod mic on three different headsets, and it's stuck just fine on all of them. I've even had it stuck on my old Razer Cajarillas, which had a mesh back, Alright, the most important question, does it sound good? Well, let's try it out. So you're currently hearing raw audio with no post-processing of the ModMic Uni. One cool thing about the Uni is it has a very small radius with which it picks up sound. So someone talking right next to me is unlikely to be picked up by the microphone, as well as my loud mechanical keyboard. At least, it's less likely to happen with this microphone than many others. One thing worth mentioning is I'm using this microphone without the separately sold USB sound card. If you plug the microphone as it is with the 3.5mm jack, your audio quality will depend on what it's being plugged into, and whether you have a good sound card. If you want to get the most out of your audio, then buying a separate USB sound card can help a lot in that instance. However, my review sample did not contain one, so I'm reviewing it as it is. Now right next to my Blue Snowball desktop mic, the ModMic Uni obviously sounds a little bit inferior. However, it is also cheaper and more convenient. When buying a ModMic, you need to ask yourself what exactly you want out of it. Although it might sound worse than a desktop mic, it still sounds a lot better than a crappy gaming headset mic. On the other hand, Antlion does have other microphones with different strengths and weaknesses. If you ask me, I think the ModMic Uni is a great product for the price, coming with good noise cancellation, convenient use, and a pretty good sound quality. If you want to pick one up for yourself, there's a link in the description to do so. Thank you for watching everybody. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I typically don't do hardware reviews, but if you're into gaming, I do all sorts of stuff there, including game reviews and funny let's plays. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.